and uh, go into the Play Store and then type in WireGuard. Yeah, I've already typed it in here and then download this with this logo here and then you're going to be with our interface that appears to be like this. So we're going to have to create another file different from that that we've used on the PC. Let it just come back here to the website and then copy the last command here, copy, and then come back here into the WireGuard, right click to paste and then uh, press enter. So what we want to do right now is, is to add a new user, then press enter. Okay, so the client name must be, uh, okay, uh, we're going to say maybe test, test now. Okay, press enter, then press enter, press enter. It's going to create its own configuration file. I'm going to just press the add sign and then I need to scan code from, scan from QR code here, select this. And then uh, scan the code there. And then this is going to be maybe just call it tunnel. And then create. It's just press it. And then uh, come back here to the Google Chrome. And then when you refresh, you're going to realize that now you have your IP address changed. So it means that it is routing all your internet through the wire guide. So what is going on everyone who is with you here? Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own wire guide VPN to connect to your different and various devices. And let us begin. So firstly, you're going to need to get a VPS provider that is going to provide you with a server that you can use to go ahead with this process. So I usually go for this company. Its prices are favorable compared to the big players in the market like Google, AWS, Bluehost, Digital Ocean. What this company is providing is really considerate to uh, a budget. So what if you come to them, you're just going to if you want to be using euros, you can leave it there. But if you want to change to US dollars, you're going to have to come and change it here to US dollars. And it's going to be giving you at least 5.5 US dollars per month, but providing you four cores, AGB RAM and an NVMe. OK, so when you if you go ahead, I recommend you to go for a lower price if you're going to be running VPNs because they don't need too much. So this is the, lo the lowest price that we have on here. So you can go ahead and select that. It will take you to a page that appears to be like this. So if it's still giving you the euros and you want to deal with USD, you're going to have to just come here and then go to USD and then just save. Okay, so it's running a promotion right now that there is no setup fee, but you will if, if this maybe uh, this promotion is done, you're going to realize that uh, there it's going to give you a setup fee uh, down here when the this has expired. I don't know why they give us a setup fee, but um, if you want to eliminate the setup fee when this is all not available, you're going to just come here to 12 months and you will have to eliminate the setup fee. But if you want to be just doing it for testing purposes, you can just go ahead and do this. Okay, go ahead and select European Union. If you have and you want to go for the United States, go ahead and pay the 1.45 1 US dollars, which I don't have at the moment. Okay, so go ahead and storage into the, you can either choose the 200 GB SSD, or you can go ahead and choose the 50 GB NVMe, which is really much faster, which I prefer myself because uh, we're going to be using Ubuntu that does not need too much resources. Actually, only 500, 512 MBs of RAM is just enough to run this VPN. OK, so go ahead. You can choose either 22 Ubuntu 22 or Ubuntu 20, but I usually want to choose the lower version of uh, an operating system because it usually has low bugs and low crashes. OK, so go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and then uh, just generate the password, put in the password that you want to put, uh, leave it as root and uh, go ahead and just press next. So it's going to send you an email after you've actually paid and uh, whether you're going to pay, pay, pay with PayPal or with your credit card. 
you are going to be sent an email that appears to be like this. I'm trying to beat up this fast to go to where the installation is. Okay, so you are going to be provided with uh, an email that appears to be like this. All you need is your IP address and uh, the username and the password. So next, if you've received this, if you need to log in your details and they request for any details in order to, to eliminate spam and hacking, just go ahead and provide it to them and then get to your server. You need an IP address, you need a username and you need a password. So nextly, you're going to need these softwares. Firstly, okay, these are the softwares that you're going to be needing. One is Party, one is WinSCP and the other one is going to be the WireGuard itself okay so you're going to go to this website here uh whereby if you want to also buy windows activation keys you can go ahead and buy from them but what we need here is going to the collections tab and then uh, scroll down to the files section okay you're gonna go down to uh software downloads and for now you're going to look for you're going to look for party uh win scp and then down here, you're going to get the WireGuard. So you're going to go ahead and download all of them. Let me try downloading maybe WireGuard. So I've already downloaded. So it's going to it's going to start downloading. You can see it's giving me a one, meaning that I've already downloaded mine. So I'm going to just open where it is and you see what exactly you need to do. Okay, so you have into the downloads and I have it here as uh, an ISO. Okay, so... For your installation, if you want to install, go ahead and install or uh, if you're using a 64 bit, you're going to install this one. If you if you have an if you have a 32 bit or times 86 bit, you can go ahead and use. How do you know that? If you don't know what system that you're using, just go ahead and use the WireGuard installer. But if you want to know exactly what system you're using, just go ahead, come here to your PC and then properties. And then it's going to take you to the about of the uh, the PC. So it's going to tell you I'm using HP Omen. And so you're going to realize here at system type that you're using 64 bit operating system or 64 best upper best processor. So yeah, you, you, in my case, I go ahead and install this. But if you don't know and have no idea, just go ahead and install this. It will install it for you automatically. If you know that you're using an 86, just go ahead and install that. Okay, so. After you're done with all the installations and you're good to go, we're gonna go ahead and uh, come down here. And the first thing we're going to do is open Party. After you've installed Party, hoping by now you know how to install the softwares that I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna come back here and uh, check for our logging details. So we have the IP address, just copy it and then come down here to what? Just come here, then uh, yeah, you're gonna right click and then paste. I usually want to paste this into the sessions, then uh, save it so that I don't have to copy and paste it again. So you can see that when you when you saved, I can just close when I reopen party here. I will just double click it and it will open. Okay, so it's going to first bring you this uh, dialog box and uh, requesting you to do whatever it's telling you. Just go ahead and press yes. Okay, let's bring this down here and uh, give it some, 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 okay, some space. Okay, so you're going to have to log in here. The login details, you have them as root. Login is root. And then the password, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to copy it from here. Right click and copy. When you come here, you're only going to, sorry, only. When you come in here into party, you're just going to right click to paste and then press enter. Okay, after you've logged in successfully, what you're going to need is to change. First thing you need to do is to change the password, whereby that is going to be a pass, plus WD and then press enter. And then uh, enter new password. Enter your new password again. Oh, sorry. Okay, the password updated successfully. Okay, so next thing you need right now is still go to this uh, website. 
go to the collection stub and then go to the file section then now we need to go to the in the script installation files okay then scroll down we need the wireguard script okay there we go so first thing first when you get a server a linux server the first thing you have to do is to update it and it's the first command that we have here so just right click in here to paste and then press enter so the talk why here is simply going to be allowing you to accept any request that uh, that that the server is going to be requesting you as it is doing its update so i'm going to be forwarding this and i'll get back to you when it is done okay so now that we're done doing uh updating and uh, doing all the updates what we're going to do is just come here again we're going to be doing a copy and paste okay so uh, i need to copy the last digit here right click and then copy you just come back here uh this is going to be yeah party the right click to paste and then press enter okay that is complete and then uh come back here and copy this it's literally just a copy and paste process press enter and then come here copy the last command here copy and then come here and then right click to paste and then press enter okay now it's going to start asking you questions okay uh, i need to ask you a few questions before starting the setup okay so you have your ip address stated there just press enter okay interface f0 yes enter wg0 yes enter i want to enter i want to enter everything if you want to specify any port you can use port any port of either port 443 let me check change and put port 443 but uh, just know that wireguard uses udp by default just enter if you want to change your dns dissolver if you want to use the one that is there you can go ahead and press enter but I usually want to go for the Google DNS servers. Just press enter and uh, press enter. Whatever you want to choose, you can actually just change everything from here and then just press continue. And uh, then it's going to ask you, I think, to put in your, your name. Okay, let's wait for it. Okay, so the client name you want you ha you you want to uh, state maybe a device that you want to use. Let me just say maybe this is a test test. If you want to put something else, you can say test one two three. That's my name. Then press enter. I want to press enter. Okay, it's going to provide you with uh. This is going to be a QR code that you can use to. That you can use for your phone and you can also collect the file that you've installed right into this folder okay firstly i can maybe show you how to uh, let me bring it here down here okay so firstly i'm going to have to connect with a pc okay so it's telling us uh the file has been put in the root folder okay so from here we're going to go down and look for this software here Okay, so the first time it's going to open up, it's going to request for after you've done the installation, it's going to request you to put in the uh, the IP address that you're using. Okay, come in here and then uh, IP address, then copy and then come in here software, right click and then pass your IP address, leave it to 22 and username, you can put it to root. Uh, I don't recommend you saving your password just in case someone logs in and maybe they steal your credentials. Just save. Yes, and then log in. Yeah, I need to update. Okay, then password. Just put in your password. Okay, then now you're logged in. So you can see that I'm in the root folder by default. It logs into the root folder. If you want, it's uh, we can just go into the root folder itself, and then there you are. So it is giving us the file that was given to us earlier. Uh, let me show it to you here side by side. 
so now you can see that uh, it's uh, a root root folder and it is that file the one to test of one to three there you go so what you're going to do is uh you're going to have to copy this file onto the desktop so you can either drag and drop it here or you can drag and drop it here i usually want to drag and drop it where i can see it okay there is the file and now we are going to go ahead and open wireguard so it has a very simple interface you're just going to come here and import files from it's going to take you to the desktop desktop or sometimes it will take you to the downloads or documents but uh it's going to j just look for it on the desktop and then double click to log it in so you can see the details that we log the that we input earlier our dns server is 8.8.8 .8 and that was the secondary dns server and now uh, that's our public key and now we are just going to click activate and uh, yes okay so before we activate i want to check i want to show you that uh i'm going to say ip chicken let me check out this website so you can see this is my default ip address right at the moment but when i go ahead and connect the wireguard vpn so it's, it's, it tells you that it's activated, so go ahead. Okay, come here and refresh. You're going to realize that it is changing the IP address accordingly. Okay, okay. so now that we've connected successfully, we're going to have to maybe connect to our phone. And uh, in that case, we're going to have to go onto our phone here and uh, go into the Play Store and then type in wireguard yeah i've already typed it in here and then download this with this logo here and then you're going to be with uh, an interface that appears to be like this so it happens to be that there is a diff it, uh you cannot use the same files to connect so we're gonna have to create another file different from that that we've used on the pc so we're going to just come here and maybe press the up direction and get this command here if you don't get it just come back here to the website and then copy the last command here copy and then come back here into the wire guard right click to paste and then uh, press enter so it's going to ask you what do you want to do you want to add a new user you want to list all users you want to revoke existing users or uninstall wire guard or exist exit so what we want to do right now is, is to add a new user then press enter okay so the client name must be uh, okay uh, we're gonna say maybe test test now okay press enter then press enter press enter it's going to create its own configuration file so what we need here if i come in the uh, if i come here um, what i need to do with my wire guard i'm going to just press the add sign and then i need to scan code from scan from qr code here select this and then uh scan the code there and then this is going to be maybe just call it tunnel and then create and then we are good to go so firstly you can check you can verify your uh let's launch google okay ip chicken that is our IP address. So if we come and try to launch this, just press it and then uh, come back here to the Google Chrome. And then when you refresh, you're going to realize that now you have your IP address changed. So it means that it is routing all your internet through the wire guide. Okay, so that is how you create your own WireGuard server and uh, maybe share with friends and family and share to many, as many devices. You can create as many accounts as you want. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.